Sales of BC wines across the country are being put on ice. A number of provinces have raised the alarm over BC wineries selling directly to customers over the internet. It turns out that violates a law that dates back to prohibition days. As Kelowna Bureau reporter Kent Mulgat tells us, that's leaving a bad taste in the mouths of consumers. <sighs> Under a warm September sun, the 2008 harvest has begun in the Okanagan. It's most likely the wine produced from these grapes will be consumed somewhere in B.C., but more and more B.C. wine is finding its way to wine lovers everywhere, thanks largely to Internet sales. But a Prohibition-era law, the Importation of Intoxicating Liquors Act of 1928, is putting a damper on all that. A number of provinces are threatening to prosecute B.C. wineries for selling directly to customers outside of B.C. It's archaic, it's outdated, it's, it doesn't take into account the reality of the world today. The industry has always been aware of the law, but it's been common practice to ignore it. It's kind of something we, we all did sort of almost together that we kind of got away with, so to speak. Because the Summerland Pyramid Estate Winery specializes in certified organic wine, catering to faraway customers is important, so this crackdown will hurt. We get a lot of orders across the country that we... Uh, that we'd like to honor. So this would be this would be a tough one for us. While internet sales make up just a small portion of BC's 150 million dollar wine industry, those sales are growing. The Ontario government and wine industry is trying to block those sales. Now, whether it's to protect their industry from competition or collect more taxes, no one is quite sure. But Manitoba is also complaining. These days, you can order Okanagan wines online from Europe, Mexico, all over the United States. But don't try it from London, Ontario or Winnipeg, Manitoba. At least not directly from the winery. This is the most beautiful wine we're making in these beautiful conditions. And for us not to be able to ship it across our own country is kind of like hurts your heart. Your heart, maybe. The bottom line, for sure. But changing the laws involved won't be easy. It involves federal and provincial governments, and the issues around the free flow of goods across provincial lines can simmer for decades. The BC Wine Institute is promising to try to get the different governments to agree on some kind of a new deal that will give BC wines the freedom to move. Kent Mulgat, CTV News, Kelowna.